And our Cynthia Mulligan has been looking into how the province is responding to that ongoing crisis in those long-term care homes. Cynthia, what can you tell us today? Well, Janella, 30 of those new deaths are from long-term care. And today the Ford government announced it was issuing an emergency order to take control of long-term care homes if necessary. We know many have been in crisis while families are desperate to communicate with their relatives to offer love and support. And they're not hearing a lot from inside the home for management, they say. One woman is starting a campaign to get iPads into every room at her mother's long-term care home, which has been in an outbreak. She knows the pain of not seeing her all too well. It's almost like an elder genocide. Up until Sunday, Maureen McDermott was able to see her 92-year-old mother, Elsie, through the first floor window of her long-term care home. That last visit on Mother's Day was devastating. She was really distressed. Um, as you can see from some of the pictures I sent you, a very well-dressed, well-kept woman looked like a homeless person. She was in a small t-shirt, um, dirty pants. She said she was cold. Her hair was like she hadn't, didn't look like she'd been showered. And she was terrified. She was trying to get out of her wheelchair. She's immobile and was begging me to take her home, begging me. Elsie McDermott tested positive for COVID-19 that very day and was moved to the third floor. Her daughter spoke to her briefly on the phone last night, but desperately wants her mother, who has Alzheimer's, to be able to see her face, to understand that she is there. There were only three iPads for all the residents, so Maureen has started a campaign to collect 44, one for each room. 18 staff have tested positive. She knows the rest are overworked and won't have a lot of time to help elderly residents with the technology. The ones that are left show up shift after brutal shift with the just the tenacity to fight this and care for our loved ones. The Ford government has faced criticism for not immediately making it mandatory for staff to only work in one home, despite the lessons learned from SARS. Maureen says staff needs help and believes the government waited too long to issue today's emergency order, giving it the power to take over a long-term care home. Why has it taken your government so long to issue this order when BC did it right out of the gate? Up until now, it really hasn't been necessary. The making of this emergency order doesn't mean that we're going to do anything with it right now. It's just a tool in our toolbox. 1,269 vulnerable seniors in long-term care have died of COVID-19. Close to 3,000 more are positive. But there's a person behind each number. Maureen says her mother always had an adventurous spirit and joined the British Navy during World War II, serving on battleships. Her daughter is desperate to see her at least one more time. And just to hold her again and know that she's okay. The Associate Chief Medical Officer of Health today acknowledged there's great concern for the mental health toll that is taking on elderly residents. She did say the COVID cases in long-term care are going down.